Okay, so let's um, have a little bit of a look at the arrange view. So like I mentioned in the last video, um, you can use the tab uh, button on your keyboard to toggle between the session view and the arrange view. Um, so the arrange view should be more familiar and needs less explanation because um, basically it's, it's a timeline. Um, uh, horizontally and tracks vertically so these are the different tracks again and I can sort of scroll through them using um, the arrow keys or I can click on a track header to select it um, and you can see the timeline across the top here from left to right so if I put my cursor somewhere in the in the timeline and hit play spacebar every night I wake from dreaming Squeezing the trigger of my heart Zoom in. And blood surging through my veins. You can see the playhead moving across the timeline and playing the MIDI and the audio that's on there. And spacebar again, stop. Pretty straightforward stuff that um, that you should be used to if you've used any other door before. Um, so let's have just a, a look at a couple of little things to get started on here. Um, Let's say I want to loop a couple of bars because um, I want to do some editing within them. So I, I can use my mouse um, somewhere just within the clip in the bottom half and make a selection. And if I click the loop button, uh, I can turn looping on and off. Uh, and a quick way to set your loop value, as you can see, there's nothing there. If I go Command L, then, then that will... Um, bring my locators to my selection and as I said before this is your loop on and off button so if we hit play now it's gonna loop these couple of bars and spacebar again to stop let's have a quick look at the grid and we'll come back to this again later on um, I'm using my little magnifying glass up here in the top um, little gray space here so there's a speaker arrow and magnifying glass this will allow me to zoom in and out on different parts of the session so this is just a basic navigation feature and this is how you do it so if I want to zoom in on you know this transient over here I'm just going to hover above it or as close to it as I can get two fingers on your trackpad to drag left and right or dragging while holding uh, your mouse button down there and I can zoom right in to have a look at that. If I want this track to be bigger vertically, I can use my, this little icon here, the sort of double arrow icon, and click and drag down, and that'll resize the track vertically. Uh, option is like a do-to-all feature in, in Ableton, so I'll just zoom out a bit so it's a bit easier to see everything. I can use option, click and drag, to resize all tracks. Um, and another tip too is I've got my, let's say I like this track height, but I just want to temporarily um, sort of fold the tracks. If I option click this little arrow, I can fold them down to their smallest um, view option and option click again will return me to the, the track height that I'd last used. So I can show you a bigger example. That's one at a time and holding option will do all of them. Okay, so basic um, zooming and navigation stuff there. Um, the arrows will toggle your playhead left and right by the grid division. And just having a quick look at the grid here, if I um, control click or right click, you've got options on how the grid should be displayed. So you can use an adaptive or a fixed grid fixed grid is straightforward it will it will um, show grid divisions according to um, bars and beats so I can go to a one bar grid and if I zoom in or out you'll notice the grid gets bigger and there's no subdivisions in there so this is one bar if I change that to uh, quarter notes you should see these divided up into four um, four notes or, or grid sections so that's pretty straightforward. If I do eight, you're going to see eight and so on. Um, but if you use adaptive grid, 
So let's do um, let's do narrow. It doesn't change, but if I zoom out, or sorry, zoom in, you'll notice the grid divisions are getting smaller, or there are more of them, but they look around about the same width depending on my zoom settings. So if I zoom right out, I end up with a, a bigger grid division. Before they fade from memory. So this is sort of showing quarter notes, but if I zoom out further, it's going to be showing me bars. Okay, so this is a bar now. If I zoom in a bit, these are quarter notes. Okay, so adaptive and um, fixed grid are your options there. We'll do some edits on an audio um, track. So let's say I just want to trim this up to about here. So I might just resize that so it's a bit bigger and zoom in on it. So pretty standard editing features that you're probably used to from other doors. You can see the little handle appear um, when I grab onto the top corner of a clip and I can just trim that. Okay, so I might trim that up to here, trim the other side in, and zoom in again. And maybe I want to split this here. Now you notice that um, I can only click on the grid. Um, that's quite handy. You can, you can click off the grid or you can suspend the grid. So if I right click here, you can have um, no grid. Oops. Grid off, and that means I can put my cursor sort of anywhere I want. So uh, you can do that if you want. I'm going to stick to using the grid anyway. And um, Command E will make a new edit. Okay, so that's a basic overview of um, the arrangement view with a few tips on um, navigating, selecting and making basic edits. And we'll come back to all of those concepts again as usual. And the other parts of the window should be familiar. So if you double click on a clip, you're going to see clip related view and information. That's audio, that's MIDI. So again, you'll see piano roll down here. But if I click a track header, uh, you'll see the effect. So on this track, I've just got a delay. Uh, on this track, I've just got the operator synth. Um, and on this track, I've got a bit more stuff. So the sampler EQ. Um, and a few other plugins. Browser's still over here, and you can show and hide different sections with the arrow as you can in the session view.